In the last episode, we learned how to use the drag and drop API for uploading files in React.js. In this episode, we're gonna continue with the drag and drop API series. So we're gonna see how we can use this API to move and arrange elements in the list by building a sortable list in React.js. Let's get started. So here I have gone ahead and created a simple React app so that we can focus on implementing the drag and drop functionality. I have basically created a component that is rendering a list of spots using the map function. And here in app.js, I am simply importing and rendering the sortable list component. I have also added some styles we need to get started for the application to look good. So if you want to see this code, head over to the GitHub repository. All the code that will be showcased in this video is going to be there. Okay, so the goal of this video is to make this list we have sortable so that we can move elements in the list by dragging and dropping them. So we're going to start by making every item in the list draggable by setting draggable property this will allow us to drag the list items using the mouse so we're gonna use the use state hook to declare state for keeping track of the index of two items in the list first the, uh, the index of the item being dragged and the index of the drag over item basically the drag over item will be the new position where the dragged item will be placed so now let's move on events so we're gonna start by handling two main events the first event is the on drag start event and the second event is the on drag over event the on drag event will be invoked when the user starts dragging an element while the drag over ele event will be invoked when the dragged item is being dragged over a particular item the functions that will handle these events will both take in the event and the index of the elements as the arguments for now we will simply console log the events so for now we will simply console log the event and the index so that we can test this in the browser so now in the browser we can open dev tools to see what's going on so for example if we drag the item of index 3 which is circle we can see that the on drag star event is being being fired and also when the, we drag over an item we can see that the on drag over event is being fired as well so we can also see the index of the element being dragged also and also the index of the target item so now back to the handle functions for the drag over event in the handle drag over function we are simply going to prevent the default behavior. Preventing the default behavior will allow the item to receive drop events. Also, here we don't need the index of the item anymore as the argument as an argument. So we're gonna get rid of it. For the drag star event, we will update the drag item index by calling the set drag item index function we also don't need the event as the argument as an argument anymore so we're gonna get rid of it okay so now let's move on to the next event which is the on drop event so this event will be fired when the item being dragged is dropped over an item you know basically the next position for now let's console log the action and test this in the browser
So in this handle drop function, it's where we would implement the logic of moving and rearranging the list, but we'll come back to it later. So let's continue with other events. So another important two events are drag enter and drag leave events. So the drag enter event is fired when the dragged item enters a valid drop target. This event may seem similar to the drag over event, but it's totally different. The drag enter event happens the moment you drag something into the target item and then it stops. However, the drag over event happens during the time you are dragging something until you drop it. So we will use the drag enter event to update the drag over item. So for the drag leave event, it will be fired when we leave the target element. So when this event is fired, we want to set the drag over item index to null. The last event is going to be the event that will be fired when the user hit escape on the keyboard or when this whole drag and drop operation is finished and this event is the drag end event. So we will handle this event with the handle drag end function and this function will simply reset the state for both drag item index and the drag over item index by setting them to undefined. So now let's go back to the handle drop function and implement the logic. We will simply move the item to the new position by using the splice method. So in JavaScript, there are a bunch of methods you can use to move an item in an array. It's all up to you. So here I am using the splice method. So now if we test this in the browser, we will see that we can now move item and the item will move to a new position. So last but not least, I would like to change the color of the drag over item to indicate the next position. So we'll start by changing the class name of the item so that we can change the style in CSS. So if the drag over item is the same as the index item, we will add a new position to the class name. Otherwise, the item will just have the default class name of list item. And here in CSS, for the new position, we will simply change the border to a green color. We will also reduce the opacity of the element to 0 0.2. So now let's test the app for the last time. As you can see, everything is working like a charm. All the code that was showcased in this video will be available on the GitHub repository. All the links are in the description. Check them out. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one.